So here is the Ikea Cullen that Chris and I put together. So first thing, just want to go ahead and take everything out of the box, get a little organized, and find that instruction booklet. So here is the instruction booklet, and looking at it gives us the warnings. And right here in this video, I actually wasn't able to show you guys this portion using the drill bits and anchoring it into the wall, but the instructions are in there. Now, this right here, the hammer, I would also recommend a mallet. And here, the having two people is definitely key to the success of building this because it would be very hard, I feel like, building this thing on your own. Next, looking at all the hardware, just make sure you have all the pieces. Uh, one great thing about IKEA is these things are sh usually two size, so if you were to lay it against the paper, it should be able to be the same size so you'll be able to figure out which ones you have and which ones you don't, just in case. And then let's go ahead and look into the building portion now. There are two boxes for this build. So when you're at Ikea, just make sure you do grab box one and two. And then here, like I said, I grabbed that rubber mallet and was able to use that to push in those plastic pieces for the drawers to make sure uh, I don't break them because I tried to do it with a hammer initially. I felt like it could break the plastic, so it was just a little too much. Looking at this cam lock right here, uh, there, there are two different sizes for when putting those together. So just make sure when you guys are doing that that you guys notice that there are different ones. If you take, it does take a second to take out if you do use the wrong one. Also, I want to point out that the board that's laying on the ground right now is a grayish color versus the white. Now, I kind of was looking around the boxes, wanted to make sure I grabbed the right one. It is the right one, it just has that uh, off color and you're not going to be able to see it since it's actually the back portion. Next, that long piece of wood, you don't want to tighten too much because these pieces right here are for the drawers and you want to make sure it's only at like 80% before you tighten everything down so you can actually put those pieces of wood in there. And then right here, we just went ahead and grabbed the top. Put it on as you see Jude's in and out of his room and kind of checking on us, making sure we're doing the construction project right. You just want to be a little form in there. And right here is a spot to put the tip hazard anchor in and then flip it back over. Right here, I just wanted to point out this little nifty tool. Uh, it really helps with uh, hammering down that back piece. So you're able to like not like have to hold that little tiny nail and then smash your fingers. It's easier just to put it on there and then just hammer it all on down. Say I did actually keep this piece because it it does come in handy. This thing wasn't on one of the other IKEA builds that I had that had a back like this, so definitely want to keep it for my next project just in case. After that, we went ahead and put the feet on and we just stood it up from there and spun it around. After that, uh, it's building the drawers. So this was, a, I would say, very time consuming actually, but it's because we also made a mistake. Now, we did notice like putting the drawers together that it, it is a little sticky, which it was kind of irritating me. So I actually asked Emma to bring up this candle that we had downstairs. And this was a tip from home inspector for one of our rental properties. It was an older house that had wooden drawers and uh, they were they were kind of sticky so he said he lived in a house like that as a kid and he said his parents would have him just take the drawers out and rub wax along the channels and on the wood it actually makes it fly. And now right here is where we made the mistake as you can see that there's those warning labels on the side pieces for the drawers that is what we did not notice and uh, 
it was my fault for not actually following the instructions. I kind of just got ahead of myself here. We just went ahead and put everything together and figured we'd just uh, wait to the end to see what happened. And that's when we noticed that we got to take a few apart. And those were the side pieces for the shorter ones. So if we look back in the instruction manual here, if we look at the drawers, there are two sizes. So two smaller ones and four larger ones. And if we keep scrolling down here, we'll see that they actually look different too. So that was my mistake for not actually paying attention and just thinking that all of them were the same size up until Krista kind of pointed out like, hey, why do these ones look super small? So please learn from that. And right here, the warning, it actually shows it's supposed to be on the bottom of the drawer. Yep, and we kind of noticed that they're on the side. So that's why I guess kind of threw me for a loop. But beyond that, not super hard to fix. So we went ahead and just fixed that up and finished that out. Like I said, keep throwing the wax on all those things to make it so it's nice and smooth. Before buying the Cullen, we were actually looking into buying the Mala and looking at the two side by side, they pretty much look the same. The Mala is $80 or more, but I was only able to find it in oak and not the white that we wanted. And looking at the product sizes, the Mala is 63 inches while the Cullen is 55, so an eight inch difference there. Well, in comparison of the two, I know the Mala, the drawer system is a little bit different than the Cullen, but looking back on it all, I do like the Cullen and for what we needed it for, it works out perfectly. And now that we're all done, we just went ahead and let Jude come inside and check it out. All right. Put your clothes in there. Yeah. Are you gonna be a big boy? Yeah. Uh oh. 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 Uh so as you can see Jude was super happy to get it and we're glad that this was able to just go ahead and fit everything that we needed for him and yeah thanks for watching guys